The NYPD invited members of the media to take a look at stop and frisk training today. Stop and frisk is a controversial policy where officers have the right to stop anyone on the street and pat them down if there is reasonable suspicion of a crime. Nearly 700,000 people were stopped and searched this last year. The policy has come under increased scrutiny recently and protesters have organized rallies calling it racist. The vast majority of those stopped were black or Latino men, according to statistics. Today, members of the media were briefed on how officers are trained to deal with stop and frisk. They were shown examples of training sessions and how officers are supposed to deal with each situation. As the law stands right now in New York State, if we reasonably suspect that someone is, is about to or, or, uh, or did engage in a crime, we can forcibly stop that individual. The law allows us to seize them. It's an exception to the, to the probable cause standard in the Fourth Amendment. We can conduct an investigation. If necessary, we can frisk. And then, as I said, it's either going to scale up, we have probable cause, we're going to make an arrest, as you saw earlier, or it's going to scale down, at which point we disengage. I'm sorry, sir, this is why you were stopped, and we move on. After every scenario, my instructors stop and we, rec and, and we uh, critique everything that happened. Then we break down what we did, what we should have done, what we could have done better. So it's a, it's, it's a continuum of learning, it's, it's non-stop learning, and it's difficult to take a, a, a young man, a young lady, and turn him into a police officer. It takes a lot of training, a lot of education, a lot of experience, and a lot of time.